Hi. In a previous uh, video I had posted talking about how to bead with real sinew and using real sinew in sewing and beading, I had promised that I would show you a bit of how I collect the sinew from the back straps and prep that, wash it, dry it. And that's what I'm going to do today. This is from an antelope I shot last week. And this is the back strap. It runs either side of the backbone. And I cut that out. This edge here was right along the backbone. And a lot of people think you need to fillet that off. Um, but you really don't. All you need is whatever butcher knife you normally use and a butter knife. And that's all the tools we're really going to use here today. I'm going to start by simply coming in here along this edge. You see I'm cutting through here. And this is not so much cutting as really just scraping right along the sinew. And right at the beginning, there's actually a little tendon that kind of dives down into the muscle. Once you get past that, you should be good to go. You can see it's kind of thin. The knife, you can see right through. Now that I've got the first part started, I'm going to just use my butter knife. And I'm using the knife in sort of a circular fashion to scrape along the meat right next to the sinew and separate the two just that easy. I mean it might take a little practice the first few times you try it but really um, it's not that difficult and when you get down farther you see this muscle is laying over top of the sinew we're trying to pull off. Don't worry about it. Just continue on down through like so. And now I'm down to where you can see the sinew kind of stops here. I'm going to lay this out and I use the butter knife to scrape along the top, just like that. Now I've separated out the sinew from the meat. The meat's nice and good because uh, with the sinew on it, it's going to make it tough. You want to get rid of that. Now you have a much better piece of meat for grilling or making your tenderloin medallions. This piece will end up going into the scrap pile for um, sausages and hamburger. This, do a little bit of scraping to simply get the rest of that meat off. And again, just use your butter knife. You don't need a sharp knife. Work down over and get, get that cleaned up. You don't get it perfect, perfectly clean right now, don't worry about it. Step two, as I flip it over, you can see there's still some more on this side. Step two, I'm going to take it and um, soak this in water overnight, and that'll get the excess blood out. And then I'll do another scraping to make sure there's no fat or meat on this. And when I do that, you can see I'm just going right with the grain with the direction of sinews running from head to tail as I go down through and you see it lays out nicely when I do that tomorrow after I soak it I'll do that so that it's laying out on a piece of wax paper and then let it dry overnight and you're good but it's just that simple to collect yourself a nice piece of sinew from the deer or antelope or elk that you're harvesting and um, make good use of it. So thanks for watching.